Hi there, my name is Jeff Edwards. I'll be teaching the Karmark short course on alternatives to different scores using uh, polynomial regression and response surface methodology. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a, uh, I earned my PhD at Carnegie Mellon University. My first position after that was at the University of Virginia. I spent time at the University of Michigan after that, and I've been at the University of North Carolina now for about uh, 14 years. Uh, the topic I'll be teaching on alternatives to different scores was born out of some research I've done in the area, uh, starting in person environment fit, looking at ways that uh, methodologically we've tried to answer questions that deal with, with fit, uh, but then broaden that work to take a look at congruence uh, research more broadly speaking, which includes questions of agreement, similarity, matching, comparison between two, two constructs or two entities, uh, predominantly as a predictor of a third a variable and outcome of that of that comparison. The course I'll be teaching is two and a half days of a, an immersion experience in how we can apply polynomial regression and response surface methodology as an alternative to, to different scores. Problems with different scores have been discussed for many many decades. Uh, we uh, many of us know about those problems, and the research in, on area in areas of congruence reached essentially a stalemate as uh, researchers were wanting to use different scores to study congruence, yet at the same time the methodological problems. Uh, were known and were often used as a basis for, uh, for rejecting research and, uh, and uh, stalling research programs. Polynomial regression uh, is a technique I've developed to, uh, as a response to problems with different scores to address concerns having to do with uh, reliability of different scores being lower than, than the components of the two scores, confounding the two variables that are involved in the difference, and reducing what's inherently a three-dimensional relationship between two components and an outcome down to a two-dimensional function relating the difference uh, to the outcome. So after a, a quick review of the problems with different scores, we'll get right into polynomial regression, looking at regression analysis techniques that can substitute for different scores, uh, particularly algebraic different scores, absolute different scores, and square different scores. Uh, we'll be uh, developing those techniques and applying them to uh, real data that you'll have access to. We'll be using statistical programs that include SPSS and SysStat, uh, in order to conduct the regression analyses and also to plot three-dimensional surfaces that, un 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 that unveil the relationship between the two components and the outcome is that are concealed by different scores. We'll be testing constraints imposed by different scores. Those constraints can be thought of as implicit hypotheses that underlie different scores that are often the motivation as to why re researchers would use different scores uh, in the first place. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at and analyzing specific aspects of surfaces uh, that are come out of polynomial regression using response surface analysis, uh, a technique that was developed originally in areas uh, such as agriculture where the response surface being studied were the height of crops based on uh, different ways of treating those crops such as fertilizer and water. Sounds like an odd application, but that, that same methodology can be applied if we back translate it into the uh, equations that are used as alternatives to different scores to understand the features of surfaces that relate in three dimensions, say a person and environment to an outcome or any two components involved in the comparison underlying uh, congruence. So we'll be able to take a look at things such as uh, what is the slope of a surface or the shape of a surface along a particular line or axis, and whether the surface is rotated off of a theoretically meaningful orientation line. In addition to going through the basics of polynomial regressions and response surface methodology, we'll add on some uh, questions having to do with uh, such as moderated uh, response surface methodology in the sense of whether the surfaces we would estimate and see, whether they depend on another variable, a moderator. So that will be moderated polynomial regression as a way of understanding whether the shapes of surfaces depend upon another variable. We'll also introduce the idea of mediation with regard to polynomial regression. So if your hypothesis would say that the congruence effect is mediated by another variable before transmitting to an outcome, how do we then analyze those kinds of, those kinds of models? And so that will be included in the course as well. There will also be a treatment of bootstrapping. Uh, bootstrapping is an on-pair metric technique for constructing confidence intervals around parameters that involve nonlinear relationships among those parameters. Uh, we will be applying the bootstrap and you will be, be introduced to the bootstrap and come away equipped to apply the bootstrap to polynomial regression and other techniques as well. Finally, we will uh, we'll also address some of the frequently asked questions having to do with polynomial regression and responsiveness methodology, address the questions that you might have on, on your mind. So it should be an, uh, an action-packed, uh, very full cool two and a half days. Um, I hope to see you there at Karma, and I uh, look forward to our time together. Thanks.